Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to show you today how to jailbreak an iPhone. This one's an iPhone 4 with a uh, with Green Poison. Um, green Poison is very easy to use. It's one of the easier jailbreaking methods um, for your iPhone. Keep in mind, this is only for jailbreak. This is not for unlocking your iPhone. Unlocking your iPhone, you'll need something else, which I'll do in a different video. This is simply so you can um, jailbreak your phone and use it with a uh, jailbroken apps such as you know things in Cydia and, and uh, other app stores that are not the official one through iTunes. So what we're first going to do is we're going to go on the Green Poison webpage here and we're here at greenpoison.com. The last O in the word poison is a zero um, if you're looking to uh, put it in there. And you're going to click on your operating system. So I have a Mac and let's click on it here. It's going to download Green Poison. Okay. I'm going to open up the zip and it's going to be right here. So here I have it. I'm going to double click here into the folder. I'm going to open the application. Do I want to open the application? Yes, from the internet. Yes, I do. Okay, so I can close this out. It's going to ask me if I'm jailbreaking an Apple TV. Right now I'm not, so I'm going to hit no. And then it's going to say, get ready to start. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to be prepared to hold the uh, sleep button and the home button on your phone. When you do, you uh, click jailbreak and it'll hold. It'll walk you through it by telling you what uh, button to hold and for which second. And it'll also tell you here when you're reading it. So I'm gonna hit the jailbreak button and it's, it's gonna count you down. So I'm gonna hold, oops, I may have started a little late. Hopefully this will work. Release the sleep button, continue holding the home button. Okay, so now it appears my iPhone uh, has restarted and the jailbreaking has kind of taken over. So as you can see here, the iPhone, there's some code being written and it'll also tell you on the screen uh, what's going on and it says it's complete here now that was really fast um, so I'll, oh, okay so here we go here's the rest of the code coming so on screen here it tells us that we're complete but obviously you have to let the phone continue doing what it has to do when it's done you'll see this little logo here uh, of this kind of Apple skull looking logo and it'll be in place of the normal Apple logo that you see when you start up your phone um, so it's gonna write this code here and we're gonna let it go and finish. Now we see that we have the little app, the skull logo, like I was talking about, and it's going to say complete here on your screen as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait until it's done booting up and it goes into the normal screen mode um, to where basically where you're the same state that your phone was in before you decided to jailbreak it. Um, that's the really good thing about Green Poison is when you use it, all it does is basically flash over your phone um, and allow you to download these applications from Cydia and other um, unofficial app stores and it'll keep your phone and all your music and all your information and all your text messages and everything else on there the same way it was before you decided to jailbreak it. Now that the phone is done, you can see it's got the little swirly thing here. I'm going to hit complete on the computer and automatically you'll hear that the phone is done. Okay, and uh, it's just going to take one more boot up. Okay, so now our phone has been completely jailbroken through using green poison here that you see on my screen. And I'm gonna open up the phone as you normally would, and you're gonna see exactly what is on there. So in the background, you'll see a picture of myself and my brother-in-law uh, on his wedding day. But uh, we'll go back here. And what you're gonna have here is this green application called Loader that was not there before, okay? And you're gonna click on Loader. Alright, and then you're going to download Cydia. You're going to install Cydia. It takes fairly quick, and what you do is you go through and uh, you open up Cydia, and you can download and look for other jailbroken applications that you've had on there before. So, let's go back, because Cydia is installed now. And we should see Cydia coming here shortly. Oh, okay, so the phone has to reboot, redo its own thing, and you'll see Cydia um, right here on the phone.
So here we go, our Apple logo again. Then that's going to change to the Skull logo. There it goes. Okay, so the phone's back on now, and what we're going to see here is uh, we're going to see the phone open up with Cydia. And I'm going to install some applications here. All right, so we're going to slide it unlocked. And now we have Cydia. And now Cydia, for the first time, when you first open Cydia, it's going to want to do a lot of refreshing and updating and things like that. Just go ahead and let it do its thing. Um, it's kind of, you know, got to update to the most recent softwares and, and uh, programs that it has in there. So let it do its thing. And um, it says it'll, as you can see here, it says it'll exit when it's done. So it will exit when complete. So let it uh, finish that up. And I don't know if you can see the time here, but uh, this is only taking about a total of three minutes. So if you can see the time right there, um, it's 8.33. I believe I started this actual process is about 8.30, maybe 8.27. So it's going to take a total of about six minutes completely. Um, and it, it, it doesn't take very long. And all my stuff, as you saw a little bit ago, when I unlocked the phone, is completely back on my phone. So there's no you know big problem here. Um, a lot of people get scared about doing jailbreaking. The one main thing you have to remember, this is the most important thing about jailbreaking your phone or unlocking your phone, either one, is to make sure you back up your phone before you do so. If you don't back up your phone by plugging it into iTunes and, and hit sync and then make sure there's a backup running through the process, you could lose a lot of your information if this does go wrong. Now, I don't experience it going wrong a lot because I do this a lot. I've done it for friends and I've done it for family, but um, you want to make sure you back up your phone. That is the most important process um, while jailbreaking or unlocking your phone. Okay, so we're gonna unlock it again. We're gonna go into Cydia. And it's gonna ask me, who are you? Are you a user? That's a normal person, a hacker or a developer. I'm not a hacker or a developer for this video purpose. So I'm gonna hit user, hit done. And there we are, there we have Cydia. And um, what you can do is you can manage your accounts um, for instance, I'm going to download something here for you guys. So I'm going to log in real quick to manage accounts. And the good thing about this is if you had all your city applications downloaded on a different phone, you can now download them and re basically kind of restore them by using Facebook. Um, it asked me if I want to do some upgrades. I'm going to just ignore them temporarily for the sake of the video. And I'm going to connect with Facebook. And what that allows me to do is I can put in my Facebook username and password. So now it's got my Facebook username and password and I'm gonna hit link device to your account right here. Let me zoom out, oops, zoom in. Okay, so now it's gonna have installable purchases, basically purchases that I've made on another iPhone that I've unlocked or jailbroken. And um, I can basically transfer those purchases here. So I never really lose them if I switch to a new phone. So one of the main things I really love about my phone when it's jailbroken is I can install Haptic Pro. And a lot of people have this big complaint that when they use the iPhone's virtual keyboard, that they don't feel like they're actually pressing something. And the only time they can actually detect something is when they click the button. Well, if you use Haptic Pro, every time you press anything on your phone, it's gonna do a little vibrate. And it's, and it's a very useful feature, kind of if you're trying to text while you're talking to somebody or text if you're driving. Um, but it's, it's really easy and you're just gonna reboot the device. So this is a real quick tutorial on how to install applications from um, Cydia onto your iPhone, how to jailbreak your iPhone um, using Green Poison. I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked the tutorial, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, send me an email, and uh, I'll do my best to answer, answer your questions. Talk to you later.